What's going on YouTube? Happy New Year and today in our first video of 2016 we're taking a look at how to clean up the Galaxy Note 5. So if you've seen my videos in the past I usually go through new phones when I get them and if they're carrier phones then they usually come with a lot of uh, bloatware and just garbage on them that I'll probably never use and most of you will probably never use either. So that being said, this is one of those videos and just a quick walkthrough on how to do that. So um, I've taken some of the stuff off of the home screens already. Um, not un uninstalled anything, just taken stuff off the home screens. And that's about it. Group stuff into folders. But I was saving most of it for this video here. So the first thing I'm going to do is, as you did see, I, there's this uh, flipboard screen over here on the side. I never use that, and if you don't use that either, it's very easy to get rid of. Just long press on the home screen, and then scroll over to it and uncheck this box here. And then once you hit the home button, you'll see it's no longer there. No longer shows up in the notifications down here. Next, go into the app drawer itself, and one of the convenient things that they've done for inconveniencing you is they've put most of the AT&T apps into this one folder here. Uh, you'll see there's still a few stragglers outside of it, but basically the way to get rid of those is there's two ways. You can either long press on the icon itself, which I'll do with uh, this one right here, and then drag it up to the disable part, and then yeah, just disable. Or you can go to edit, and then just start hitting the little minuses that come up, so I'll get rid of that one. And basically I get rid of all the AT&T stuff because by this point I already know I never use any of this stuff and I never miss it when it's gone. And then to edit the stuff in the folder itself go to open folder and then again start hitting those minus signs. And some of you might be asking well why, why do you disable this? You know isn't this useful stuff? Um, a lot of these apps are just AT&T's versions of features that are already built in to Android or in this case even Samsung uh, in their TouchWiz which is a custom version of Android and so that's why I get rid of a lot of this stuff because like I said it's it's stuff that's already there or stuff that I know I just never use so you know, it. this is all relative to your needs. If you know you do use some of these and you think, you know, well, this guy's crazy. He's getting rid of stuff that I use. You don't have to get rid of all this. Just pick and choose what makes sense for you. For me, it makes sense to, like I said, get rid of all this stuff. And then I get rid of this Samsung stuff as, as well. Um, I never use their music version. And um, I don't really use this either. And the reason I know I don't use this, even though the Note's fairly new, is I have a Galaxy S6. And a lot of these apps are the same. And I never needed them on the S6, so let's get rid of them on here. And then you see, go ahead and hit Done. I think that's everything I wanted to get rid of. And I've already installed a bunch of extra stuff too, which, you know, yeah, I don't want this either. Which will account for why I have you know so many apps already on here and so the ones you can't get rid of unfortunately that's kind of the nature of the beast with uh, carrier versions of phones um, you can either root and then freeze them with something like titanium backup or you can use a custom launcher like uh, I have Nova launcher installed but I don't have it set up yet and then you can just hide it from within those launchers so I'll, I'll cover that in another video but basically once you're done uh, just hit the done and then hit resort here and it sorts everything again A to Z and now even with all the extra apps I've installed there's a lot less stuff going on and one of the reasons I do this is because not only do I not use those apps but some of them if you leave them you know on your phone they'll run in the background um, it's gotten a lot better nowadays in that a lot, of these, a lot of these are just kind of bookmarks for you to actually download the whole app itself, which is kind of nice. Uh, but some of them do, you know, still run, and it's kind of annoying. Um, 
like some of the AT&T ones, the caller ID, the contacts, they'll run, you know, and they'll ask you, hey, do you want to use this? And it's like, no, I don't. So just go ahead and disable them. So that's been a quick look at how to disable these apps and clean up your Galaxy Note 5 a little bit. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. And as I do with all my phones, I'll be making videos on this, uh, especially how to make it look more like a Nexus device, which I have a Nexus 6P, and I love that phone uh, because of its you know stock, clean Android look. But the Note 5 does give you a lot of extra features that does not come in stock Android, and so if you can make TouchWiz look like stock Android, that kind of gives you the best of both worlds. And that's kind of what I always strive to do on my uh, devices, whether it be you know Samsung or LG or HTC or whatever. So until next time, hope you find this video useful, and uh, take care.